Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, as Black Label Pro presents the Darkest Timeline Championship Tournament. We are in Crown Point, Indiana. Dave Prezak, joined at this time by Swoggle. Dave? Dave, Dave, Dave. We've known each other for a decent amount of time. Haven't seen each other in a few years. but More gosh, than a few years. Yeah, gosh darn it. This is pretty special. My, my debut here for Black Label. I get to start the show on the commentary table for Black Label. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a new Dr. Seuss, huh? <laughs> but uh, this is, this is going to be a special night. Continuing the uh, history of the NWA Indiana State Championship, now becoming the Black Label Pro Indiana Heavyweight Championship. State of Indiana, of course, uh, that championship was last featured on shows promoted by the late Ed Schumann. I, I got shows, babe. You, man, I, I I saw that title. I got a bitch, babe. Me, I, man, <laughs> I saw that title and legit made the hair stand up on my arms because of him. My guy right here. This is my guy. One of my favorite wrestlers going today, Filthy Tom Lawler. An interesting character, that's for sure. Former Black Label Pro Heavyweight Champion, Filthy Tom Lawler. Of course, he teamed up with Brian Alvarez to take on the Rock and Roll Express right here in Crown Point a couple of months ago. So I just... I just realized today when I got here and I, I asked I asked Tom Lawler myself, I said, Brian Alvarez <laughs> that I see you know all this stuff with. He, I said, is it? He goes, yeah, it's the writer. I go, you're lying to me, first of all. You don't know the history of Brian Alvarez and I independent pro wrestling? I don't, and I feel so awful <laughs> because I like, to, I like to say that I'm a pretty you know knowledgeable independent fan, but I didn't... I, for some reason, I thought it was a different Brian Alvarez oh. this whole time, and I was blown away. Big veteran of the ring. I didn't from know the that. Pacific Northwest. Not very active in the past, oh, 12 years or so. Brian, that doesn't mean bury me in your next video. <laughs> Most of the times that he has wrestled uh, in the past 10 to 12 years, it has been on events promoted by the Black Label Pro promoter, Mike Blanton. So so is he a, is he a regular for Black Label Pro? Uh, no. No, he made his re return to the ring uh, at that event, taking on the Rock and Roll Express. Yes. Uh, and I think that there was probably a gap of a good eight or nine years between that and his previous match. Oh, so, and he hasn't been back since then. Uh, no. Um, I believe he'll occasionally, I think he's wrestled for Defy, or he's about to wrestle for Defy up in the Pacific Northwest, Seattle area. Perfect. Um, but, uh, but it ain't about that. It's about it the about darkest that. timeline championship tournament. Yes. Right here. Filthy Tom and the Warhorse, Jake Parnell, to uh, open up tonight's event. And, of course, the winners of each of these tournament matches will face off in a multi-person match in the main event. The uh, last man standing will become the Black Label Pro Indiana State Champion. Dave, I was just told today over Twitter that my match is now part of the tournament. Yes, yourself and Marco stunned. Very mad about this because I didn't train for a tournament match. But, I didn't. But you train, could become the champion. I didn't train. Period. <laughs> if you look at my body, I don't train. So in reality, I wouldn't have probably trained anyways. So you're still at but the top of your game, is what you're saying. No matter Dave, what. I haven't been in the top of my game since I started this game. Okay. <laughs> Huge suplex there from Filthy Tom, just launching Parnell overhead. I'm in the back of his head. And if I lose, I'm blaming it on the lighting. <laughs> oh! German suplex. That Nicely German done. suplex, too, wasn't it was not about the, the finesse of it. He's slamming into the ring. You don't see that a lot. He's just tossing him all over the ring. Parnell doing his best to block this attempt. He's got that waist lock. Breaks free of it. Grabs the waist lock on Filthy Tom oh. and gets a German suplex of his own. Wisely rolling all the way out to the floor is the former Ten champion. count or twenty count here, Dave? Ten. Thank you. Uh oh. And here comes the Warhorse! Wiping him out I, on the I floor. I don't think he got all of them there. Well, it took him off his feet at it least. Did, did it? Get I all fired up. I don't like this. I don't like him pandering to the, to the crowd here. He, he should have dove on him, threw him back in the ring, and went for a cover. Yeah, he does have the advantage. Needs to uh, do whatever he can to maintain hey, that advantage. I need that. Yeah, the ring steps. Into the barricade back Both first. Barricades flew. Taking him on a tour of rings. Oh, God. Oh. God, right in front of us here. Tom Lawler shoulders it. Oh. 
Referee administering the count. To a count of seven as they continue to they, battle they, out they, on the floor here. They need a double count out. That could, throw, that could just jumble this whole tournament. Well, oh, able to Tom Lawler's back to the outside. Back to the outside. That resets the count. It's Parnell sending the turnbuckles. Okay, and descending. Uh-oh. Catches the kick attempt and on chest that first. Shoulder. That, yeah, yep, shoulder chest, first yep. right on the ring frame. There we go. Tom Lawler saw he landed on that shoulder, and he's not going to let it go. Focusing on that body part, just doing as much damage to the shoulder as possible. Is that an arm bar? I don't know yes. much about technical wrestling, obviously. It's not an ass bite. I don't know what it is. It is effective. Okay. That is all we need to know. Tom Lawler now pandered. He just took advantage of that hurt arm. Don't pander to the crowd, Tom. Grabbing hold of the feet. Trying to pull him away from the ropes. Back toward the center of the ring. Kicking away at the leg. Repeatedly. Ankle. Ooh. Everything he can kick oh, at. Yeah, he's just he's just swinging. He just wants to make sure that Parnell Ooh. can't walk. That was in the face. Wow. Well, whoever advances is going to have to wrestle again later on tonight. So, don't want to take uh, take too much time, expend too much energy in your first matchup. If Tom Waller wins this, I don't want to win my match. Because <laughs> then you have to face not going to lie. Tonight. I don't want to win my match. But you want to become the Indiana State champion. I mean, Jimmy Jacobs, I believe, uh, Hardcore Harry, the former champion, Oxbaker Jr. What? Storied history of the title. I mean, Wrestling-titles.com certainly had had the full history of. That's the not a website. That's not a real no, website. No, it is. No, it's not. That, that was that was where we found our information. You're that it was lying that they me, actually Dave. traced it back to 1907. You're lying and some to me. guy named Frank Prindle. It says Frank Prindle, 1907, 1118. And then, a, and I'm then looking, nothing, and I'm then nothing until 2005, where Brandon Tomaselli won the title in Valparaiso at the National Guard Army. I mean, I'm seeing Selsen. this website, and I am—I <laughs> don't know if I'm mortified or blown away. <laughs> Tom Lawler, though, with a big forearm. Yes. This is, this is, oh, Parnell giving it back to him. The last time that uh, Jake Parnell competed on a Black Label Pro event, he defeated Fred Yehai. That was right in the year. Is, is Jake Parnell known to be a striker? Because he's uh, really holding his own here against... Uh-oh! When he can, uh. half and half! Launching him overhead, unable to With immediately follow up. Yep. Clutching that arm that Tom Lawler has focused on through the course of the matchup. Both men trying to pull it together, dig down for some energy, and get back to their feet. Dave, you better make me, sound, make me seem really good later on. <laughs> Trying to whip the man into the ropes. Lawler putting on the brakes. Uh-oh. Going right back to work uh -oh. on that shoulder. Oh, no. Parnell trying his best to block the attempt before he can cinch it in the hold. Lawler. He's got him trapped. Has that arm trapped in hammerlock position right here. Oh. Fighting for the other arm. And I wrenching think, up on it. I think I'd be more angry if I got slapped in the belly like that from the <laughs> actual hole. That would really hurt me. I have a lot of belly to slap. This, well, if you wrench it, if Tom Waller wrenches that right arm back, it's, it could be over. Parnell trying to hang in there. Referee asking off, if he's though. had enough. He's trying to squirm toward the ropes. Uh-oh. That's a pin, ref, ref. Shoulders against the canvas. Ref Two and a half. Out of position slightly, and that could have been it. Leaping form in the corner by Law. Parnell back out, butterflies the arms. Nice butterfly suplex. Keeping control of that arm. Go for the cross arm breaker. Like I was talking about earlier, every suplex from Tom Lawler isn't just a toss. He is driving the opponent down to the mat on these suplexes. Something you don't see a lot. Not surprised me one bit to see Filthy Tom become the Indiana State Champion tonight. So it's not the darkest timeline champion. That's the name of the tournament. Like originally, Jordan Grace, the current Black Label Pro yes. Champion was going to defend the title through the tournament in hopes of winning it to retain her championship. But of course she's injured, so now we have the Indiana State Championship filling in. So we do have a title at stake in this tournament. So what is the darkest timeline? Uh, good question. I have absolutely right. no idea. Okay. I guess someone didn't do their research, if, huh, Dave? If anyone on Twitter would like to smarten us up, BLP9 is the hashtag you should utilize for tonight's event. Oh! oh! Divorce courting that shoulder. 
Sa- Sa- Simon Diamond? Something. Who, 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 who was the divorce court? Midnight Express. Is that really? Stan Ryan? What? I don't watch, I don't watch old wrestling. <laughs> I don't watch. I only watch old wrestling. <laughs> Pulling Parnell back up on his shoulders. Parnell trying to wiggle free. But oh. Filthy Tom's got, ooh, landed on his feet. Trying to choke him out here. I don't it, I don't know what he was quite going for, but it, it, it seemed to work in the end. Jack Prindle would be really proud right now. Frank Prindle. Same thing. I was talking about his brother, okay? I tried to Google it and came up with a realtor in Virginia. Somehow I don't think that guy <laughs> was the first champion. Nor is he probably alive anymore. Ooh. Gets the boots right in the face. Did he win it in the tournament in Rio? <laughs> <laughs> oh, big front drop kick. Parnell getting the advantage here. Can he maintain it, though? Getting the encouragement of the fans here in crowd point. I cannot believe the striking ability of Jake Parnell holding his own against Gilby Town. Doing very well That's here. Impressive. Of course, the favorite in this matchup has got to be the former champion, Filthy Tom Lawler. Ooh, that was in the throat. That knife edge was right in the throat of Tom Lawler. Can Parnell pull out the upset here and advance in the tournament? Puts on the brakes. Healthy Tom charges in. Ooh, that was rough. Ooh. Out to the floor. Arm. Usually they catch himself. You know, they, they, they catch their, their footing on the ground, but Healthy Tom went right through. Almost somersaulted through. Parnell, see what he has in mind as he goes out to the apron. The match. I don't know about this. Oh! Oh. Off the apron to the floor, right to the back of Tom Lawler. The thing is, what I've noticed here earlier today, the gap between the ring and the barricades is much smaller than normal. So they're hitting the barricades every time they're taking a shot on the outside. Absolutely. Bringing it back inside now. Going for the cover very wisely. That Only two gets two. Out. Needs to follow up. He's got the advantage. He's got Lawler on his back. But you wonder if all those strikes from Filthy Tom to every body part of Jake Parnell. Jake Parnell? Yes. Uh, if that, if those, those obviously took a toll on Parnell. And it seems like they have by him not being able to... Uh-oh. Oh! oh! Right to the face! He, no. Filthy Tom meant to oh. do that. He headbutted the clothesline. Oh, line. he headbutted He headbutted the clothesline. Oh. Wow. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I Unorthodox. Lo- that's what I love. Oh! Down He's across not, the back of the neck. Out. He ain't moving. Oh. Parnell isn't moving. And Lawler now. He did the deal. Hooks the leg. Oh! Two and three quarters somehow. I was, the war horse kicks out. Dave, I was watching Jake Parnell in that pin, and he was completely out of it. Eyes shut completely out of it. I wonder if that, that two count almost woke him up a bit. Well, somehow, he's still fighting here, absorbing these kicks to the chest, though. But back to his feet he comes. Flurious strikes from Tom Lawler. He strikes. This is what I was talking about earlier. He's just a striking machine, Filthy Tom. Oh! Parnell down to a knee. Lawler going to hit the ropes for some momentum. Crisscross. Oh! And there's the lariat from Parnell. Larry, Turns I'm him inside out. out. Jinx, you owe me a coat. Thank you. Well, ref hit three. The referee hit three. The ref hit three. But he just signaled two, two, two. He couldn't stop his own momentum making the count, but he's in perfect position. It was that close. He signaled only two, even though his hand did hit three times. Who's the guy that hires these refs? <laughs> Get this one out of here. Out to the apron, going to take another risk. Jake Parnell climbing up top. Sending the turnbuckles to the top rope, he goes. For that double stop again, the Lawler catches him! Oh, the strength of Tom Lawler. Done. He's got to be done here. Look at to chuck him out the oh, the ring and he look taps. Look at that tap. He taps. Before he even hit the ground. Filthy Tom Lawler advances. Dave, I don't want to win. But, but, but the championship is at stake. You can is there any way we can get the cops called on Tom Lawler? No, no, no. You can make history. You should do your best to defeat Marco Stunt in your match later on tonight Dave. to advance, even though you have to face Tom Lawler. You, you could be in the history books along with El Drunko. Dave, my arms are already bowed. I don't need them bowed even more. 
Kyle Drunko, the Metal Master. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Filthy Tom advancing in this tournament, but he's oh. he better get some. He better rest up for the main event tonight. Cause he's gonna have his hands full with you. Stop it. Oh, you're in? You're tagging in? 